realistic chance to finish it? Uh, I think maybe after the fifth inning. Um, you know, I realized that we had a few really quick innings there. And, uh, you know, I've never done it. So in the back of my mind, honestly, I was just thinking just keep just keep working quick and getting ahead of guys and, uh, you know, don't take a breath and just stare right after them. So what's How are you feeling like as you walk off the mound after that? It's really cool. Um, you know, honestly, this is what I try to do every, every game. <laughs> so I finally did it. <laughs> How are you going to be so efficient with your pitches? I think you only needed more than 11 in an inning twice mm -hmm. all night. Um, you know, they were really aggressive, and uh, my sinker and slider were a pretty good combo today to, you know, get some quick outs. My changeup got me back with some counts. So uh, I just think really a mix of everything. The guys are, you know, making great plays behind me, and Wilson called a great game. So just a, it was just a recipe of everything, really. So your first shutout, obviously, but was that the best you've ever felt on the mound in terms of what um, you I guess you can say that, you know, since I was just really able to uh, get ahead of guys and work fast. Um, so, yeah, I think so. I know you had pitched in the ninth in the major leagues, but you hadn't in the minors either, right? No, uh, I never pitched. Uh, I only thrown eight innings really a couple times. So, uh, yeah, this was you know, big for me today. I really, in the back of my mind, I, re I really wanted to keep going out there. So. After the eighth, did you even look at Mickey's way, or did you, were you just confident? Uh, you know, Phil just said, how you doing? And I was like, I'm, I'm doing great. So, I know at that point I was going back out. Steve, you talked about how good it felt at the end of the ninth inning. What's it like going out for the ninth inning? First time as a, as a professionally set, right? Yeah. What's that um, like? In the, <laughs> it's the ninth inning or bat in the eighth inning. Yeah. Right off the ninth. What's that like? Uh, it was exciting for me. Um, you know, we had we had a nice crowd tonight. They were into it. You know, it was a you know, uh, JD had a big home run there, and uh, you know, it was just it was good. It was a good team win. Is there any extra satisfaction keeping it under 100 pitches? Um, I think I d honestly didn't even know how many pitches I had. I didn't even look up, but um, I knew. Yeah, so uh, I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever look at the bullpen at all just to see if anybody was warm in here? Um, yeah, I, I, there's a little camera down there, and I just checked. And nobody was warm, but I knew that nobody was going to be going. It's just right, it's right in your kind of sight, so I knew nobody was warm enough. Thanks. Thanks, Steve. Gee, you're a guy that pays close attention and learns from you know, your at-bats early in the game. He was really pumping you with fastballs. Were you able to pick something up in that first at-bat that you know, led to the double in the home run in the second and third? Yeah, um, you know, I'm a guy that does does, does, or does my homework. Um, at first at-bat, 1-0, um, I thought he was going to come with a slider or something, you know, off speed and just doing my homework and um, seeing his tendencies. Um, but he blew a fastball by me. Um, I think that kind of set myself up in the later part, and I kept note of that in the back of my head that, you know, he thinks he can beat me with the fastball, and so I just, you know, I stayed ready for it. Um, I, again, he, uh, he, he mixed uh, both sides of the plate really well, two seams down and in, and four seams uh, away and up in the zone to righties, and then, um, but, you know, knowing that, uh, I just try to look for a pitch out over the plate, and those last two at-bats, uh, I got a pitch, and I didn't miss. Jay, you've been pretty good all year, but... The last two months in particular, I think you're hitting over 350. You have a, an OPS well over 900. Anything in particular these last couple of months that's been elevated? Um, I think just working with uh, Chile. Um, uh, you know, just going back on my notes um, whenever I'm struggling or whenever, you know, I have a bad game, uh, I learn from it and uh, just, you know, I, I think, you know, just working with Chile, talking to him, and it helps me, you know, turn the page real quick um, and get to the next game and, and, and just have a positive game the next day. So, but uh, I give credit to Chile and Slater and Rafi down in there just keeping me, um, keeping me ready to go. I don't play every day, but, you know, uh, I just, you know, when my name's called, I'm ready to play. JD, you probably are yeah you know it, it's bittersweet you know he's one of my good friends on the team and to see him go down to have you know he's a voice in this clubhouse he's a voice in the dugout um, he's, he's a positive energy around us so to see him go down um, is it, it hurts all of us um, but you know uh, it's, it's once again it's uh, he's a big bat um, he's a big uh, defender so just got to step up our game and you know uh, closing the hole I know we brought in uh, Altier and so hopefully he can get some at bats and come through and uh, be a part of the uh, the positive train going forward for you personally what could you know having maybe a more extended run of play do for you 
Say it again? For you personally, what can having potentially more extended running time do? Uh, yeah, you know, it's always positive, you know, especially, you know, that's the biggest thing when I when I don't play, I get two or three days off and I come back in the first two at bats, it's more about getting my timing down and really, you know, uh, not being aggressive in those situations. Um, to see pitches, um, but you know when you're playing every day, it's a little bit easier. It's a little easier on the mind, knowing the fact that you're in the lineup the next day, and then, or at least your timing is a little bit, you know, uh, there every day. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it comes with its positive and negatives. You know, you have when you play more, you have more bad games, and when you play more, you have more positive games. So it's it's can go either way. So. Oh, it's unbelievable. You know, Matsy, he's been grinding a lot this uh, this year, but the last, uh, I don't know, I saw the stat on, on, the, on the big screen that he was pitching well this last uh, couple home starts. Um, for him to come forward and have, uh, you know, obviously pitch a complete game shutout uh, to save our bullpen for the possible sweep is huge for us, especially in this, uh, you know, games that we that we should win and we expect to win. So it was huge for him to come forward and, you know, just to have that personal achievement, his first career shutout. Uh, you know, we're all proud of him and gave him high fives when he came, came in here. JD, is there a kind of sense of uh, building excitement? You don't see a lot of shutouts these days by one pitcher. We came shut out. So that fifth, sixteen, you guys started to sense something. He's got a real shot to finish it out there. Yeah, I mean his pitch count was pretty low. I think it was like in the seventh or eighth inning, he was at sixty-seven pitches or something yep. like that. So there was a good possibility that if he got through the sixth and seventh uh, unscathed or without any damage, that there was a possibility that he can go a complete game. So uh, there was a sense that you know uh, our anticipation that he was going to go the whole way. But uh, we were excited. Um, you know, even if it was a complete game or if it was a shutout, I mean that's a pretty big achievement, especially this day and age with the long ball and guys being able to at least, you know, uh, hit long balls and, you know, get things going uh, contagiously for them. When you look at how well you guys are playing the last few weeks, do you kind of wonder what could have been? Yeah. And it's a little, not disappointed, but come close to the trade deadline, they have to make a decision one way or the other, how the team's going to go. Yeah, you know, we, from day one, from the beginning of the season, we knew that we were a good team. We were just had some bad luck, you know, um, you know, uh, pitching, you know, it, I felt like we were just on the opposite ends of the spectrum, you know, the pitching, you know, uh, you know, gave up a few more runs and or else the hitting didn't get, get didn't uh, score any runs. So um, right now we're, we're kind of clicking right now in the second half. Um, uh, I think this is uh, four, is this four out of five series we've clinched so far. Uh, I think that's the big ma uh, focus for us. You know, we're not going to win every game, especially with the situation that we're in, but at least we can concentrate on winning series. And if we can concentrate on that and, you know, it just puts us, you know, in a better position. And, you know, if, you know, the trade deadline, you hear all those rumors and everything, but um, right now, you know, we're, we're a unit, we're together, and, you know, we're still trying to make a push.